Let's move on now. We've got another story that's got everybody's attention. The number of suspected deaths in Maharashtra due to Gyan Bari syndrome went up to 11 after two deaths among suspected patients were also reported on Wednesday. Now, while the number of fresh cases has declined, health experts claim that the city, which is basically in Pune and around the area, will witness surge in numbers of death amongst the suspected. Now, GBS patients, so we thought, uh, you know, uh, we should bring you an explainer. And this will be a good time to talk about everything you need to know about GBS. Now, what is GBS? GBS is a rare but serious neurological condition where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own nerves. While it can be life-threatening with proper treatment, more people recover fully or partially. So let's give you a closer look at what it is and how it happens and what you can do about it. So this is actually a story we've been tracking for a while now. Remember when the f cases first uh, started spiking in Pune, we'd also told you how you can prepare yourselves. We thought it's important to bring you this reminder, what causes it? So what causes GBS? GBS is often triggered by an infection of some kind. The most common cause is a bacterial infection. Uh, it's actually called, and we're going to pronounce it for you very, very slowly, it's called Campylobacter jejuni. It's typically linked to contaminated food, hmm. but it can also be triggered by viruses such as the flu, Zika virus, even the Epstein-Barr virus. Essentially, after the body fights off the infection, the immune <coughs> system mistakenly attacks the peripheral nervous system, causing inflammation and sometimes even damage to the nerves. So what exactly are the symptoms then? When should you go and make that call to your doctor? The symptoms of GBS usually start with weakness or tingling in the lower legs which can progress quickly to the arms, to the chest and also the face. So what you need to watch out for? Tingling or numbness that can often begin in the feet and the hands. You may start to have difficulty in walking, using your hands or even lifting objects. It could be a severe case if it gets severe, that is the muscles involved in breathing can become weak as well, which may require medical intervention. Now this can include aching or cramping in your legs and your back and symptoms worsen quite quickly in the case of GBS, sometimes within hours. So it's important to recognize them, know that it could be possibly GBS and make a doctor's run. Okay, so when is it that you should see a doctor? That's mm. always such an important question. If you start feeling weakness or a tingling sensation in your legs that you almost feel is moving up your body, mm. or if you have trouble when you're walking, trouble using your hands, or even trouble breathing, that's when you know that you need to seek medical help right away. Mm. This is especially important if you have any kind of difficulty when you're swallowing, when you're speaking, or if you notice that there are changes in your heart rate or your blood pressure. Mm. GBS is considered a medical emergency. So if you experience these symptoms, that is good reason. That is your mm. green flag. Get to the hospital as quickly as possible. So what's the treatment then? So when you have reached the hospital, Jerebius typically focuses on managing the symptoms as in case of any other virus that is and reducing the immune system's attack on the nerves. The main treatments are basically first in plasma exchange which removes the harmful antibodies from the blood that are attacking the nervous system and second is intravenous immunoglobulin. Uh, immunoglobulin if one is saying that correct which involves infusing healthy antibodies into the body to help stop the immune system from attacking the nerves but the most important part that is important to remember is <coughs> how you can protect yourself correct so what can we tell you to arm not just you but also your family Right now, it's important to note that experts don't know exactly why some people are developing GBS. Hmm. There are ways though that you can lower your risk and these, what we're about to share with you, are what is agreed upon in the medical community. Number hmm. one, get vaccinated. So what can you get vaccinated for? Vaccines like the flu shot can help prevent the infections that could trigger the GBS. Hmm. Now, while there's a very small risk of GBS with some vaccines, the overall benefits will essentially outweigh the risks if you do decide to get it. We should also take steps to avoid infections. So, practice good hygiene, stay away from sick people. And one of the key lessons that came out of when we first saw the sport in Pune was eat safely. So, try to avoid eating out as much as you can. Eat well-cooked home food through the rest of the season. Mm. All of that can help you reduce your risk. Remember, early diagnosis and treatment are key to a better outcome in this case. Alright, so those are some of the things we hope uh, you'll keep in mind.
the team has put together for you to understand GBS a little bit better. So if you have any sort of tingling that starts in your feet, please don't say that, oh, I've had a long day. Go get it checked, go see a doctor and ensure that you're doing the right thing. On that note, we're going to slip into the first break on the program. On the other side, we will bring you a good chat, an interesting one, sitting down with Sadhguru to understand what his perspective on the Kumbh has been and also all the entertainment news. Stay tuned.